Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we will see how to find out particular integral of the linear differential equation whose RHS is of the type x into v, where v is a function of x. This is the fifth case on RHS x. Links of the videos in which previous four cases on x are covered are given in the description box. So let us see how to find out particular integral. Let f of d into y is equal to x be the linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Then its corresponding particular integral is given by yp is equal to 1 by f of d of x. Now, if this RHS x is of the type x into v, then the corresponding particular integral yp that is 1 by f of d of xv can be calculated as x minus 1 by f of d into f dash of d into 1 by f of d of v. Note that this v is a function of x. So it could be an exponential function or it could be an algebraic expression in x or it could be a trigonometric function of the type sin ax or cos ax. Let us understand this concept with the help of an example. If the differential equation is given by d square plus 2y is equal to x e raised to 3x, then the corresponding particular integral that is yp is given by 1 by d square plus 2 of x into e raised to ax. Here a is 3. Note that this RHS looks like x into v, where v is a function of x. Now to find this 1 by f of d of x into v's value, we use this formula, which is x minus 1 by f of d into f dash of d into 1 by f of d of v, where v is e raised to 3x. Here f of d is d square plus 2. So f dash d will be 2d. So after substituting values for f of d, f dash of d and for v, we get this statement. Now let us first evaluate this part. We see here RHS is of the type e raised to ax. So value of 1 by f of d of e raised to ax can be obtained by replacing every d in this expression by a. So we replace this d by 3. So we get 1 by 3 square plus 2 into e raised to 3x. This is nothing but 1 by 11. It is a constant term that you can take out. So now you are left with 1 by 11 into x minus 1 by d square plus 2 into 2d of e raised to 3x. Let us take this e raised to 3x inside these curly brackets. So we have now x into e raised to 3x minus 1 by d square plus 2 into 2d of e raised to 3x. Among these two operators, we will operate 1 by d square plus 2 on e raised to 3x first. So to solve this, we substitute d is equal to 3 in this expression. So we get 1 upon 3 square plus 2, that is 1 by 11 again, into 2d of e raised to 3x. Let us carry forward this step here. Now we have to calculate 2 into derivative of e raised to 3x. And derivative of e raised to 3x is 3e e raised to 3x. So finally we get 3 into 2, 6e e raised to 3x. This is particular integral of the given differential equation. I hope you understood how to evaluate particular integral when RHS of the LDA is of the type x into v. Let us see a couple of more real examples. Here we are asked to find particular integral of d square plus 9 into y is equal to x cos x. Once again RHS is of the type x into v where v is cos x. So yp will be given as 1 upon d square plus 9 of x into cos x. Let us apply formula over here which is x minus 1 by f of d into f dash of d into 1 by f of d of cos x. 
now we substitute for f of d and f dash of d f of d is d square plus 9 so f dash of d is 2d now let us evaluate first 1 by d square plus 9 of cos x for that one should replace this d square by minus a square here a is 1 so we replace this d square by minus 1 so we get minus 1 plus 9 that is 8 this 1 by 8 is a constant term you can take it out and then we take this cos x inside the bracket so we get 1 by 8 x cos x minus 1 by d square plus 9 into 2d of cos x now we operate 1 upon d square plus 9 on cos x value of which can be obtained by replacing d square by minus a square here a is 1 so minus a square is minus 1 plus 9 is 8 so we have now minus 1 by 8 2d cos x let us carry forward this step 2 into derivative of cos x is nothing but minus 2 cos x so that minus and this minus becomes plus 1 by 8 into 2 sin x finally after simplification we get the corresponding particular integral as 1 by 8 x cos x plus 1 by 32 sin x i hope you understood this answer let's see one more example here question is to find the particular integral of d square minus 2d plus 1 into y is equal to x sin x then corresponding particular integral will be given by 1 by f of d of x sin x where f of d is d square minus 2d plus 1 now we use the formula x minus 1 by f of d into f dash of d into 1 by f of d of sin x to evaluate this as this RHS is of the type x into v where v is sin x. Let us substitute for f of d and f dash of d. f dash of d would be 2d minus 2. Let us evaluate this part first. To do so, one should replace this d square by minus a square. Here a is 1. So we replace this d square by minus 1. This minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled we will left with 1 upon minus 2d of sin x but 1 by d is nothing but integral so we have to evaluate integral of sin x which is minus cos x so this minus and this minus becomes plus this half we can take out and then we take this cos x inside the bracket like this now we operate 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 1 on cos x. To evaluate this, we will replace this d square by minus a square which is minus 1. So once again this minus 1 and plus 1 will get cancelled. We will left with 1 upon minus 2d. This minus into this minus becomes plus. So we get plus 1 by 2d into 2d minus 2 of cos x. Now we operate 1 by d on cos x. 1 by d of cos x is nothing but integral of cos x which is nothing but sin x. So we will left with 1 by 2 into 2d minus 2 of sin x. Now we operate 2d minus 2 on sin x. 2d of sin x is nothing but 2 into derivative of sin x which is 2 into cos x minus 2 into sin x as it is. This is corresponding particular integral of the given differential equation. I hope you understood every step of this answer. Now it's your turn to solve the questions. I have given two DIY questions for you. Their corresponding particular integrals are also mentioned so that you can tell you your answer. Please try to solve these questions and write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions and you got these answers or not. Please share this video among your friends so that they can also have the benefit of this. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.